everybody, I am Net Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about biliary atresia. So let's get into it. So just as a little review how the body functions normally, we make bile in the liver and it is used to help us digest fats and it carries waste products from the liver to the intestines and then from the intestines then they get removed from our body. So that's how it should be happening normally. So when somebody who has biliary atresia, they have a blockage, okay? And because of that blockage, that bile gets trapped in the liver and it starts to cause problems. So trapped bile causes damage like scarring in the liver, cirrhosis, which eventually can lead to liver failure. Because our body is not able to properly digest those fats and carry them from the liver to the intestine, it will also result in a decrease in the vitamins and proteins throughout our body, leaving us to be like malnourished. So who does this happen to? Who are our big risk factor groups? Babies, specifically premature babies. Um, some other risk factors being of African American or Asian ethnicity, and then being female. So girls are more likely to have biliary atresia than boys. When it comes to the signs and symptoms, the big ones we wanna look out for, dark urine, clay or white tan colored stools, poor weight gain, and since this is a pediatric issue, failure to thrive. And in terms of how does this get diagnosed, a couple of different things. So they might want to do an abdominal ultrasound, an x-ray of the bile ducts to see how they're working. Um, they might want to do a scan to see if they're open or closed, or if there's a blockage or not. Um, some blood tests they might want to do. Liver enzymes, so we know if they're elevated, that's a sign that the liver is damaged. Same for bilirubin, they would be elevated. Albumin and protein would actually be decreased in this case because remember, the liver is not doing a very good job, so the patient is having less protein overall, so these numbers will be lower. And then sometimes they might want to do all of this and on top of it, a liver biopsy. So they would go in and they'd remove a bit of the liver and biopsy it to get information. Nursing care for these patients involves both nutritional care and surgical care. So since we're talking about babies, they're going to be on a specialty formula. So that formula is going to have medium chain triglycerides in it. They also need to have an increase in their calories. Some patients might need TPN. Um, they're going to have supplemental vitamins. And then surgery. Surgery is always recommended to correct either the obstruction or to create a system where the bile can exit the liver and go to the intestines. And in some cases, a liver transplant might be necessary. And then if the liver transplant happens, remember we have to think of all the nursing care involved with that. Anti-rejection medications, antibiotics, the stress of surgery on a little body, all of that stuff. So nursing care for these patients is going to be very important to help them to strive and to help them to grow and develop normally. So that was my video on biliary atresia. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.